As a young person, do you want more free speech or less free speech? More ideas or less ideas? Definitely more ideas. Honestly, so many people nowadays aren't even going to college because all, all the internet has so much information out there. So Elon Musk, he's the one who said it himself. Now, maybe Twitter will allow that too. Young people just want to be able to say whatever they want to say. And Twitter, we should be allowed to do that on Twitter, I guess. And things that are offensive should be, what's the word I'm looking for? Sensitized? Honestly, not too, too much to change. Just prevent anything from changing further because I do know that they're trying to like censor things on it, just like speech and whatever. So just keep it free speech. That's all I got for that. People should like lighten up, okay? But even if someone's not being respectful, I mean, is that like illegal, no, right? not at all. I should mean, they lose their account? They, no, they shouldn't lose their account. More free speech and more ideas or less? Um, I think more. Are young people for free speech? Yeah, always. It is in the First Amendment right that you can say whatever you want to whoever you want about whatever you want, so I guess all power to him fixing that, because I mean it is a guaranteed right to all of us. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech. What do you think he should do with Twitter? Give it back. <laughs> As a Twitter user, what's the number one thing that you want him to do when he takes over in the coming months? Um, bring back Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump back? Yeah, absolutely. It's bring back Trump? Yeah, exactly. Definitely bring back Trump, in my opinion at least. Oh, that guy, yeah, sure. He's very good at Twitter. I know. I think the president is amazingly good at Twitter. It's a lot more fun on Twitter with Donald Trump. Absolutely, on. I agree, I agree. Bring back Trump? That's that's a big one, and then just him talking shit, I think. And not getting banned. I think that'll be a big one. Welcome to the University of Tampa, Florida, where the young, brightest minds of tomorrow are going to be telling us on this episode of Benny of the Block what Elon Musk can do to fix Twitter. Bring back Donald Trump to Twitter. That's what I would like him to do. We're asking these young people whether they want more censorship or less censorship on the internet. We hear a lot about snowflakes these days. We hear a lot about young people not being able to handle different ideas or different opinions. So what do young people people want Elon Musk to do with the most toxic and censorship regime social platform on the planet. It was the biggest acquisition in internet history, $44 billion. It is not enough for the richest man in the world to try to replace agencies like NASA and send people to near space. He also wants to control what he calls the town square. I don't think anyone disagrees it should be a free and open uh, debate or, or platform, mm -hmm. but I mean, should it be a ne necessarily a font for misinformation? Elon Musk buying Twitter says a lot about the priorities of people at the highest levels making decisions that could affect the fate of the planet. Libs, of course, are losing their <laughs> over this purchase. What can Elon Musk do to fix that cesspool of a platform? And is there anything that the world's richest African-American can do to bring these kids back onto Twitter. We'll find out today on Benny on the Block. Let's go find out. As a young person, do you want more free speech or less free speech? More ideas or less ideas? Definitely more ideas. Honestly, so many people nowadays aren't even going to college because all, all the internet has so much information out there. So Elon Musk, he's the one who said it himself. Now, maybe Twitter will allow that too. How do you fix Twitter? What would you like to see Elon Musk do for Twitter? He's the richest man in the world. He owns Tesla, SpaceX. He has a space company, but now he owns Twitter. So what should he be doing? Honestly, not too, too much to change. Just prevent anything from changing further because I do know that they're trying to like censor things on it, just like speech and whatever. So just keep it free speech. That's all I got for that. Did it ever occur to you people who have different ideas than me should be silenced and they shouldn't be allowed to talk? No. It's more over if it's direct, and if it's not directly physically, if it's not directly physically hurting me, harming me, or shaming me, there's no real point for it. Um, like, if it's not gonna like hurt me or hurt my friends or like hurt people, then no, it doesn't really matter. Every young person's like, I want more ideas and more speech, right? Even if yeah. even if I disagree with that speech. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 Definitely, I would say more being allowed to do, say whatever you want. It is in the First Amendment right that you can say whatever you want to whoever you want, about whatever you want. So I guess all power to him <laughs> fixing that, because I mean, it is a guaranteed right to all of us. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for 
Free speech. More free speech and more ideas or less? Um, I think more. This is a very big business school and I think like business for students is all about ideas and like expressing yourself. I mean, we're on a college campus here. I've never met a single young person that's like, I want less speech. I want less ideas. No, I, I agree. Um, I, I always want to be able to say what I what I want and obviously being able to do that in a safe and like a, a respectful manner on uh, social media is, I, I think, okay. okay. I but even if someone's not being respectful, I mean, is that like illegal, no, right? not at all. I Should mean, they lose their account? They, no, they shouldn't lose their account. I think it shouldn't be censored, but I do like that we have the ability to like report things, so then we have the ability to like kind of censor in our own way instead of having Twitter itself because sometimes maybe Twitter, like whoever runs it, doesn't act exactly know like what we prefer not to talk about and talk about. So, I don't know, at least give us a chance to like express it. And if it's yeah. not liked by the public, then we can censor it ourselves. Young people just want to be able to say whatever they want to say. And Twitter, we should be allowed to do that on Twitter, I guess. And things that are offensive should be, what's the word I'm looking for? Sensitized? Well, well, the NSA. I should have known. We want to talk to you about some tweets you've been tweeting. Hey, man, I was just blowing smoke. Say, what right does the government have reading my private emails anyway? Haven't you squares heard of the Constitution? Having freedom of speech and freedom of press is what this country is all about. And it's good to see that Elon Musk is making sure that Twitter is going to be doing that. What is the number one thing that he could do to make sure that you know that Twitter is a free speech platform? Bring back Trump? That's that's a big one, and then just him talking <laughs> shit, I think. And not getting banned. <laughs> I think that'll be a big one. He's the biggest troll on Twitter. Yeah. And now he owns it. Yeah, so it's going to be even better. Yeah. If Elon Musk is watching, look into the camera and tell him, as a Twitter user, what's the number one thing that you want him to do when he takes over in the coming months? Um, bring back Donald Trump. <laughs> bring back Donald Trump to Twitter. That's what I would like him to do. <laughs> Why? Because I love Trump. Donald Trump. Yeah. I love Trump. It's a lot more fun on Twitter with Donald Trump. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Look at this photograph. Bring back Trump? Yeah, exactly. Definitely bring back Trump, in my opinion at least. I mean, he seemed to be the only one who could give the truth to anybody, and you know, everybody wants to hide behind feelings, but he was given facts, I think, on Twitter, so I think it's a good thing that uh, he actually bought Twitter back, and hopefully he does make those necessary adjustments. What do you think he should do with Twitter? Um, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Is that actually, that actually happened? I, of course it happened. <laughs> what would be your advice to Elon Musk? Uh, just keep doing what he's doing. He's obviously doing something right. If Elon Musk is watching this right now, can he send you a Tesla? Yes. <laughs> Does own that company too? Yeah. What color? Um, white. White Tesla. Okay, Elon, you listening? Final message to Elon Musk. Congratulations. <laughs> Good luck. <Yeah. laughs> he said he doesn't want permanent bans, so so we'll see if he reverses all the permanent bans. I can yeah. see that, and I think uh, it should happen soon. Musk likes doing what he wants, and he's got Twitter now, so I think he'll do that. Forty-four billion. Woo! Yeah, that's a big. Uh, that's expensive. That's it. Hopefully it's worth it. And that's how the incredibly intelligent students at the University of Tampa spiked the free speech of volleyball directly back into the face of these vicious, sad, communist, childless libs who weep and gnash their teeth day and night, salty tears flowing and erupting from their face into their soy lattes when they can't ban conservatives anymore. If you get invited to something where there are no rules, where there is total freedom uh, for, for everybody, do you actually want to go to that party? Or are you going to decide to stay home? 
And that's a question for Twitter users. Some Twitter users might love the idea that there's going to be absolutely no moderation and no rules at all. Even students at this university were like, hey, we should bring back Donald Trump. We don't care. Um, bring back Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump back? Yeah, absolutely. Bring back Trump? Yeah, exactly. Definitely bring back Trump. Ideas don't hurt our feelings. We don't care if you have a different opinion. We don't need to be coddled. Oh, he should make free speech to everybody. People should be able to speak freely. We talked to dozens of students and we asked them that. Speak free or forever hold your peace. And ladies and gentlemen, no peace here. They want freedom of speech and freedom of ideas. And it was refreshing, frankly, to hear about as refreshing as the uh, beautiful white sand. And I think now that this episode's over, I'm going to be getting myself a tan. So see you next week on Benny on the Block. I'm going to enjoy this uh, sand a little bit. Hey, it's Benny Johnson here, Turning Point USA's Chief Creative Officer. If you like this video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel and never miss an episode. See you guys next week.